Oh, yes. Tops knocked it out of the park. <laughs> With this particular product. Guys, we have got Major League Baseball debut patches. What does this mean? So starting today, starting today, every player making their Major League Baseball debut will wear an MLB debut patch on their uniform for that first game. After the game, that patch will be taken by Fanatic slash Tops, and that patch will be created into the ultimate, Tops words, the ultimate one-of-one one rookie card. And so this is something that we've been talking about for a while. Everybody's been speculating on, man, what are going to be some of the cool memorabilia type stuff that Fanatics can do just given their apparel, their sports memorabilia side of the business? And we've got a piece of it here. Now, the thing that excites me the most about this is I'm not a baseball card collector, really, outside of Hall of Fame autograph type stuff. But this makes me really excited when they take over the NBA, the NFL licenses, and maybe eventually NHL. There's been some speculation. The idea that you could have a debut patch really across all sports leagues, that's obviously going to be a monster, monster chase card. And I think that that's just kind of the, the beginnings. You know, this is something that's extremely smart because the other part of this too is you know exactly what game it came from. So gone are the days where it's just like game worn, game used, but you don't really know kind of where that came from. Not to say that they won't have that stuff as well, but this particular card, you can trace it back to that first game. And that is really, really cool. That's awesome. When you think about the rookie card, you think about that's the first year of the cards. The first game, it's like the first appearance. When you look at comic books, like first appearance of a character, first appearance of Wolverine, Hulk 181 or whatever. This is going to be the first First appearance patch that's going to go into a one-of-one one card for each rookie, which is it's going to be awesome. Speaking of awesome, big thanks to video sponsor ComC.com, your home for buying, selling, and flipping all the hottest trading cards. Their consignment marketplace now home to over 30 million cards from baseball superstars like Aaron Judge to Marvel favorites like Spider-Man. ComC has something for every type of collector. Make sure to visit ComC.com today to build out your collection with your favorite cards. Guys, as I always say, ComC.com, the Disneyland for sports card collectors. Definitely check them out. We were talking more on this Fanatics Top subject on Heroes for Sale. Adam had me on last night. I'll put a link in the video description. Great guy. He's also on Hobby Hotline. I enjoy watching his content and hearing his insights. But he asked me a question of what would you like to see from a Fanatics Tops over the next five years? And I referenced what really went viral for a lot of folks. And it was Michael Rubin in Burbank Sports Cards FaceTiming with Devin Booker alongside a girl that was a Devin Booker collector. So you're highlighting young people in the hobby. Really awesome to see from Michael Rubin. He's got the reach. He has the ability to do these things. Tied in with musicians, tied in with athletes, tied in with celebrities. I looked into God's eyes and you know what I saw? The Juice Weasel. Hey, folks, can you tell me what time it is? Time to juice! He's got a unique place and happens to be, happens to have landed in our collectible space. And so the one thing, and I know that they're, they're already talking about this. Um, we've heard different rumblings about this from fanatics, but wanting to get collectors closer to the players and player experience style cards. You know, maybe they don't do away with redemptions. Maybe the redemption cards are actually like the golden tickets. You are Wonka's last golden ticket. For player experiences being able to FaceTime with Devin Booker for 25 seconds and be able to say, like, Devin Booker, you're the man, or whatever. It doesn't necessarily have to be an all-day experience with the athlete. Obviously, they've got time constraints. There's Everybody is busy. But just a little nugget, just a little thing like that could really be huge, especially for young people. Man, I remember when I was a kid, I was sending away uh, the TTM stuff. I was sending cards away to my favorite players, Penny Hardaway here, um, asking for an autograph. It was just pen pal type stuff. Obviously not pen pal like we go back and forth, but pen pal and then I'm writing a letter. I'm then sending a card in the mail, self-addressed stamped envelope, hoping that they sign and send it back to me. And that was an awesome player experience, even though I didn't get to meet the person, but it was like, I feel connected with 
with this particular athlete that I'm following. This is the thing, man. Player experiences. So you've got the game-worn stuff that we're talking about and kind of the unique things that they can do, like they're doing with this MLB debut patch. Love the idea. But player experiences could really be where Fanatics, Tops, sets the, sets it all apart. That's where they could really, really bring sports fans into cards slash collectibles. Because then when you're opening up a pack, if there's a redemption card that represents a experience with a player, experience with a team, that goes far beyond the cards. That is now a chase for an experience. And a lot of what collectibles and cards represent to us is our memories. You know, a lot of times you're collecting cards from players from certain years where they won the title. There's nostalgia attached to that. So, man, you could literally give a fan, a sports fan that also happens to be a collector, the ultimate life experience. I know that might sound dramatic, like, oh, this is a, a life experience. I met Tiger Woods in a gym going back to 2009. It was about six months before his life kind of completely fell apart with all of the, the mistresses and all that stuff. I met him. I went up and I shook his hand and said, hey, I'm a huge fan. I didn't ask him for an autograph or anything, but I was like, man, I'm never going to see this guy again in this capacity. It'll never happen again. He's from Orlando. I was living there. There was a small gym that he would frequent because it wasn't very busy. I went there on my lunch break from work, happened to see him, took advantage of that opportunity. But I remember that to this day. I can just think back through my head of exactly how that happened. And it's really no different for a lot of folks if they did meet kind of that that athlete that they follow, that they look up to, or musician, celebrity. When we get into the culture cards, non-sports stuff, you could really open doors here to all sorts of different things. So I think fan experience, this is going to be an opportunity for fanatics and for tops to really open this up to the public like we've never seen it before. So that's really my big hope as we look to fanatics over the next five, 10 years. Can they execute on some of these really cool fan experiences? All right, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Stay healthy, stay awesome, and I will talk to you again later.